What's up, what's up, what's up? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell, and I hope you guys enjoy this series of how to make 2D and pixel art in Dreams PS4. I'll be showing you guys how to animate in this series as well as do other things whenever it comes to making uh, pixel art, 2D games, and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy the series, and I'll be learning, uh, not learning, I'll be showing you guys how to make even more complex artworks along the way, and do all sorts of things, even level design, and of course, foregrounds, backgrounds, how all this stuff is set up in Dreams PS4. So let's begin. How do you actually make a pixel? So what I recommend doing, there's multiple ways you can actually make your pixel, but I recommend just using a sculpture and making it as thin as you possibly can. So you can see this is actually relatively thin, which is why I might actually upload this for your guys' use because I don't know how I got this this thin. Um, usually, you would typically need it to at least be thin enough to where you would see lines like this, but you wouldn't see it um, further back. But you can see how this is still thicker, which is how, why I don't I don't know how I did this. But this is a sculpture, as you can see. Um, what you want it to be the size of is about three dots going down um, down this way and to the side this way. Um, what you want to do is go into this grid snap settings and make this 1 slash 32. Then you wanna to go to the scope settings, pull out the sculpture. It'll probably be super big at first, but whenever you zoom in, you'll be able to actually, you know, get it down to that size that I was talking about, which is about this right here. Before you lay it down, you'll wanna go here and scroll that down, then lay it down. Next, after that, you want to take it off the grid snap settings. Then you want to make this as small as you possibly can. You might have to undo if you make it a little bit too small, but as small as you possibly can, or as thin. Whenever you make it thin enough, then you're done. You can back out. And what you can do is you can save it. And then load it back in. You want to load it back in after you put this on these settings. This way it'll be perfectly aligned with the grid. And here's how you'll load it back in. You'll name it, find it, load it back in, place it down. And now you can make your pixel art. And you can see it like uh, it, it like aligns perfectly. That's why uh, I like this size right here. And you can make really good scenes. If you need to change the color, all you have to do is press uh, click it, then press L1 and square. Then you can just change the color up here and mess with the paint bucket if you want to. I recommend making these not black or white because it's harder to change the color black or white. But if you do make it black or white on accident, you can change the color just using coat mode. After that, just um, just uh, mess around with it and make your pixel art. I'll have more pixel art tutorials, but this is how you can easily make pixel art. My other tutorial on how you can make characters shows you how to do this with text displayers. Um, And I'll show you how to actually make the character. But this will show you how to actually make the character using a sculpture instead of using um, the text displayer gadget as your uh, pixels, which that this is easier because it's just easier to change the color then it would be using a text displayer where you'd have to change the color right here. And that's why I recommend using sculptures and you can use more of them in your scene if that makes sense. If you ever have a problem, you shouldn't have this problem if you make these things thin enough, but if you ever have a problem with uh, shadows showing on the side, you can try using a light and then uh, clicking the light gadget and uh, linking them with the uh, sculpture itself. 
It's as simple as that. Here's what it looks like. And this is part one. Part two, we'll talk about how you can animate pixel art. Subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell, and I hope you guys enjoy this series.